miles per gallon, so I drive slow, but I was not expecting that good. So out with the old, in with the new. Getting some new AC units today. Cause these ones are original from 2006. There we go. Getting some brand new coils. Oh goodness. Should be good for another 20 years, hopefully. We, um, they're original units, so. Wanted to go ahead and get them replaced before it was too late. There we go. Getting work done. No, you can't come up. When we go get the Christmas things, you can. Okay, Cobra Kai? I know you do. I said no, no, crazy. Get down. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Come on. Jump. No, no, okay? That's for them. Thank you. Oh, is that a coin? Oh, Dad's got to go to Nashville now, okay? First day of the W900. You did find a coin. What are you two guys doing? Yeah. Oh, watch the baby Kai's head. Why are you guys standing on a table is a better question. Because we want to put cards Oh, you want to put cards up there? So Dad's got to go put a new uh, AP unit on the white truck. Is that cool? Oh, okay. Or just jump on me. Okay. Come back up. All right. We got new air conditioners going in, even though it's Can getting, you cannot come. I had to sit there tomorrow and do some filming of a new APU. Uh, UPS just notified me my package was delivered. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Technology. This should be my new 13 Apple phone. We'll see. And they are almost done winding up. Let's go check them out. All right, guys. Well, Nick is the man. Thank you so much, brother. And we'll see you later, man. We got the new compressors in there. Thanks, brother. And uh, we should be ice cold again for next summer because this summer is almost over. So well, there we go. And let's open this package, see what's in here. Well, they said the 13 was on back order, so I was figuring it was the iPad. But I'm going to run this for, um, should have been doing this with the Volvo a long time ago. It's a new iPad Pro or something. Yeah, iPad Pro. Whoops, 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 whoops. iPad Pro, so that'll be... Uh, I got the 11-inch screen. They said the 12.6 is just too big. So I took the recommendation, and that'll be running, like, my maps, my GPS, uh, my ELD, all that stuff. So I'll get a holder for that on the W9, put it somewhere out of the way. But I've seen a lot of guys out there do that, so I figured I'd join the club. And then I can also probably do live feeds from here because they said the cameras on these are awesome nowadays. So awesome. And Maiden Voyage is about to commence. These two guys. Hi, dudes. Oh, uh, it's karate time again? Uh-huh. That's what I figured. You're so strong. Okay. I love you. You're hungry. <laughs> I'll make you a sandwich. And we are out of here. What a great concert last night. We're counting crows. Pretty good. Got a shirt. <laughs> All that stuff. And they're almost done with the ACs. They're putting new thermostats in. And uh, let's get our neighbor's trash can for them. But let's go take the... Just truck and dodge shop truck. Check out the hats. Sweatshirts are coming, beanies. And yeah, that thing's being given away to the first week of December. But right now, let's make the uh, maiden voyage with the W900. It is time to pass the torch, Volvo. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Okay. There we go. Got the new uh, chrome whatever it's called, bezels in yesterday. And the boost gauge does not fit. I'm gonna have to do some major fabricating to get it to fit. It's meant for like the older style W9s, I think. But that's a whole different cut type of gauge that goes in that one. The last time. Connected to this trailer for a while. It's been a good time with you. I've had a great time with you. Oh man. Let's get that one attached. Well, it's the start of a new endeavor. 
with this old girl. We owe everything to that old girl. So thank you, Volvo, for three three years and one month of uh, awesome service. We went through ups and downs, but uh, you made this company what it is. You made us what we are. Just trucking, not only that, but just RMT Freight, the way to pay for, put food on my table for my kids. So it's turned into something great, and here's a new endeavor. And thanks to all you guys for helping this happen, because YouTube really, really made that possible. So God bless you, and everyone say a prayer for the Volvo. She'll be sleeping now for a little bit. But who knows, might need her sooner or later. Cross our fingers later though. Well then, a little bit of a different looking hood, right? Wowzers, I guess it's actually called a hood. So we are heading through over to Atlanta and up through Chattanooga. And we are officially trucking. <laughs> it's a lot different feel of a truck. I mean, it just feels night and day different compared to the aero truck Volvo, but uh, it does have more power and we're running about 1300 RPMs uh, and over in 18th gear, so just probably downshift there. And she's loud. That's when the window's up. And she's fun though. A little different, like finding everything, like my jakes are on my steering wheel now instead of the dash. Finding out all my gauges. It's just crazy. But hey, thanks for coming on this journey with me. Just trucking, huh? Three, three years we had that Volvo. Uh, went into action August 8th of 2018. So, August, September, we uh, made it three years, one month, and almost three years, two months. And it's crazy. So now we just, for 18th gear, you have this little side selector. We're 1500 RPMs, we'll let it off the fuel a little bit, put it back on, and now we're 1300 RPMs. It's crazy. It's like a nine speed times two. You can split the gears, they call it. But hey, just trucking. Maiden voyage up to Tennessee. I don't know if somebody just burnt the tires up right there. We have a bunch of smoke on that side. It just happened. Somebody must have uh, slammed on the brakes pretty hard. Looks like everybody's okay though, so that's good. No, uh, no accident. Definitely some smoke. I don't really smell the burnt rubber, but then again, the windows are up, but you would smell, you know. Who knows? Peace and peace, luckily everyone's okay. Well, this will be our first fill up. Get old Kenworth. Exit 21. but the truck is a mess. It's all kinds of stuff everywhere. But um, I'm gonna open up my next base 6200. Get that going up there. I should have had that up already, but um, just kind of transferred everything over from the truck to another truck. It's crazy thinking about all the stuff that I that I had and I needed. So we uh, have about 350 miles, a little bit more, um, up to that Nashville area. Pretty cool. See, where'd this thing open it? Okay, it has a little seal right here, but we're waiting in the fuel line. It's busy right now in QT. 
people everywhere. The guy in front of me, he doesn't have anything going to his tanks. There's nobody in front of him. Who knows? But we'll get this going. I got my new iPad. It's pretty big. I'm not a... I'm glad I didn't get the bigger one. There's one bigger than this one, and they changed up the coat. Like, that thing's huge. I always leave the coating on it, but uh, it's really thin, too. Really thin. So we'll get that going. Um, you have to... I don't need it as, like, a phone. Like, it has a phone number to it. But you have to, like, to get the promotion whatever they have, you have to, um, like, sign up for the first month, and then you can take it off, I guess, whatever. But it's $20 a month for, like, another... Like, have another phone line. Like, yeah. I need that. I just need the iPad. So finally got this open. There we go. No next base. These things are awesome, guys. Uh, come on, man, pull up. Get this going, but it's a little little dash camera. Got one in the bowl, but they sent me two of them. Give me four of them. Actually, I gave two of them away. There we go. Put that up there, and then this little cover thing right here pops off the front, and that's how it attaches. It goes on there, so. Put it up there. This truck has a much more shaded visor than the Volvo does. Like there's not a lot of sun, it's more flat. So you'll be hearing me talk a little bit a lot about this truck, that truck from Volvo to Camworth, but we're in the Camworth and uh, it's all because of you guys and thanks so much. And it's fun to drive, it's taking some use to getting used to, but I'm gonna maneuver this way because this guy still hasn't moved. There we go. Let's go this way. Oh, someone else coming in next to me. Is he taking that one? No, he's taking the next one over. Gambler Transport, okay. Nice trailer. Nice Pete. Oh, now he's pulling up. <laughs> Whatever, we already committed over here, so the guy in front of me is already pulling up now. There we go. Well, the next base is in there. Let's get it. these fuel tanks open. Okay. Yeah, they left it pretty full for us. Well, they gave it to us full because it only took 340. It's kind of funny to look at it in the camera because it's backwards. But uh, way different for me. The Volvo is up behind the fairing, straight down. This is sideways. But hey, that is the first time fuel to dump nine. I keep looking for a black truck when I come out here. Nope. It's white now. Okay, we're paid up. Let's get going. Well, we didn't go to the lake yesterday. We probably should have, but watched some football and hung out. Katie sang for karaoke. This is the first time we'll be coming across this uh, lake with the camera on, at least. A couple of pontoons out there. There we go. And it says 84 degrees right now. So a little bit cold, a little bit warm still. It's nice. Little Lake Hartwell coming into Georgia. Our first way station ever with the W900 coming into Georgia. And a couple different people on both sides uh, are on the other side getting uh, get inspected. So Monday morning getting some stuff done. Okay, we'll see if we get there. We got the bypass. I was wondering if we're going to get pulled in, but I guess our numbers are visible. If the sticker's on there, they say go ahead. So, all right, man. We're light also, we're not, not way down, just got fuel in the tanks. But those are guys that are going in for a little bit, get checked. Got another one coming up in, uh, what, Chattanooga? See if we get rolled in there. Uh, three lanes, so a good 
Chattanooga, you got a lot of options up here for freight too. So. I show you that sunset and I'll end this video once we get to the uh, wherever we're gonna get some food at. But this thing has some power, guys. Like this truck, just a whole different feel, a little different rattles, different things. But it'll, we'll, we'll get used to them uh, over time. But this is day one of this white truck being uh, put into commission. And we have some decision making to make right now, guys. Um, when I first started with my insurance company, uh, talking to them about having a two truck thing, my agent, uh, license agent from Progressive, whatever, um, she said, yeah, no problem. When you get the new truck and you wanna get it ready to go, just switch them out. And I said, okay, no problem. Call on today to switch to insurance. She said, the new lady over I was talking to says, uh, you cannot do that. You, if your car, if the truck's in your name, your company's name, you have to have it insured. I said, ah, what if it's like the truck's broken or something like that? She said, no, that it's FMCSA regulation. I said, wow, okay. So I asked her, like, so do I have to sell it? What do I have to do? She said, well, if you sell it, that's fine. It'll drop off. But um, as of right now, you have to insure both of them. I said, wow, that's not what the lady told me before. So now it, got, it has me thinking, do I have to put someone in this truck? <laughs> if I already have an IRP paid for the year and... Uh, all that kind of stuff. I'm not. I don't want to. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to. What I'm going to try to do with it. But I have to set a business plan for it. Probably run it on my numbers. But it's going to be have to be somebody that lives close by, five years experience, um, and then I'm going to come up with a different uh, percentage on the truck to buy the truck. So it'll be like a true lease purchase, two, two or three years. I don't know. And it's your truck, and I'll help you dispatch load stuff if you want to. You stay on my numbers. You can start your own numbers. Whatever you want to do, he or her. So. I need a just super sweet and clean record and that kind of stuff so you can have your insurance not be too high and it set you up for success, not failure. But we all know the truck. That truck is uh, tried and true. Probably right, kick myself in the butt for letting somebody else take it, but it's either let it make money for us, for the family, and teach someone else kind of the ropes of what I've learned or hopefully they've learned already from watching my channel and uh, just give them, give them a little good start in life. I got a lucky start in life with, with my real estate and God opened a lot of doors for me, so why not do the same? I'm not saying I'm going to do that, but uh, that's kind of where I'm leaning because I, I have to either sell the truck or say I sold it or sell it to, I don't know, you know, you could, but I just, I don't know, I wanted to kind of be able to go back and forth between them wherever I wanted to go, so now I can't do that. I'm going to put all the eggs into this truck. Might as well let someone else run that truck, maybe buy a couple other trucks, who knows, but that's where we're kind of thinking about right now and then um that ornament guys thank you for all the links and all that kind of stuff i bought it again from the i think it's ua ua something uab or it was 168 dollars what's this guy doing a bit kind of pull a little quick crazy right there oh his tires blew out the whole back of the trailer slid sideways wow these bees from maverick good freight line company or uh flatbed company to work for but i don't know what happened there i might have locked a couple chambers or lost some airlines who knows but yeah, the ornament for the hood, guys, um, it's out of stock everywhere. I bought it and uh, kind of called it day. They said, oh, sorry, we didn't know our checker inventory. It's out of stock. I said, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, well, I thought they'd refund me again. So that was out of, out of the books. That's probably why that one person's charging $2,000 because there's none of them left. So I might have, have to CNC one myself. Who knows? <laughs> have somebody CNC one start selling those, but they're out of stock. So if you have your, your hands on one or can find one, I will pay you back. I'll pay you a finer fee. But... I've ordered two now, and they've both been refunded because they didn't have them in stock, so we shall see. But that's what we're doing, and so, so hang out with that beautiful sunset with me. Thank you for hanging out, and let's get to somewhere to eat. Close out this video. Beautiful night, 72 degrees. That is a nice Duramax Polar toy hauler. But uh, there is a Bucky's right here. <laughs> so I was just gonna try and stop and like see if I could park somewhere and go over there, there's a Shaw plant right there also. I didn't realize that. But uh, that's actually the first load I ever picked up right there, guys. That Shaw plant on the right. Um, first load I ever took with 22,000 pounds of laminate flooring up to uh, Richmond, Virginia area. But anyways, there's a Lubbs across the street to our left. So um, that was a double, double score. I said, okay, we can uh, park at Lubbs and I'll walk across the street. It's quite a walk, but not too bad. We need some exercise. We've been sitting since we got out of South Carolina. Oh man, oh man. We're averaging, guys, the empty trailer 8.6 miles per gallon. So I drive slow. 
but I was not expecting that good. said no parking right here but there's a bunch of tracks so I'm gonna stop for a little bit and uh, go check out Bucky's and then get back up to Nashville thank you everybody for hanging out with us today the maiden voyage has commenced and uh, it's fun so far a little bit up a little bit different than the um, Volvo a lot different actually but I'll get used to it God bless you let's go get some Bucky's And if you ain't at Bucky's, then where the heck you at? <laughs> if you've never heard of Bucky's and you see one, stop by. It's awesome. Oh yeah. Beautiful sunset. On that note, God bless you. I'm gonna get some barbecue. And I did take T-dubs here one time. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Bucky's. Look at seasonals. And there's the food. Yum, yum. Last week. Yummy, yummy. Okay, so that's going in the W9. And then this, you don't, you don't expect to spend that much at Bucky's, but hey, this is the real deal. Real hide. And I think T-Dub's gonna love this. Oh, yeah. Have you ever found yourself sitting there on the couch on a Sunday afternoon thinking, wow, I wonder what's going to happen to this number 18? And you get to thinking to yourself, well, today's a good day. Sure wish I had a t-shirt to celebrate this. Well, we've got just the thing from you. Our new Just Checking Dot Shop, Faster Than Kyle Bush. LS1 Swap giveaway t-shirt. And if the drawing was today, this is how we're doing a drawing, guys. Just picking one from a big old bowl. Thomas Williamson from Lampasas, Texas. You would have won. What? And we still have all of these entries to cut up. Speaking of cutting up, for the ladies, you could always T-dub your shirt and cut it up. <laughs> well then check out Just Truck and Die Shop. Grab one of these t-shirts, help support the channel. And I'm all hopped up Mountain Dew!
thanks for watching today's video. And by the way, we're having a sale at Just Truck and Dot Shop. If you buy two shirts, get one free. You just have to use the code JTB2G1.